Is this a recipe for more political instability in, in Greece, the election results? Well, at this point, it looks like it. We don't have a government. And uh, in uh, the near future, at least this week, it doesn't look like we have a government. Actually, I think the prospects for a coalition is quite slim. So we are probably looking into new elections in June. Are Greeks going to pull out of the euro potentially? Is that, is that what we're looking at? If this political instability endures, uh, and if there's no understanding uh, for common ground, first between the Greek political parties, and secondly with its creditors, this is a very high possibility, yes. Greece could pull out of the euro. And Costas, in the in the short term, as you say, it, it seems as if from a you know from a perspective across the ocean that not much was accomplished except to prove how fractious the political situation in Greece is. Because you just alluded to, and I I wonder if you could quickly say what is going to happen between now and June. Are we really going to just have another election in a month or so? Well, that's that uh, you know this is what what it looks like is going to happen. What happened? This was a vote of anger, right? Uh, you, you are having a prescription by the IMF and the European Union uh, that uh, uh, you know is not working, at least in the eyes of the Greek voters. They're being squeezed, being squeezed immensely. Uh, you, you see, there are already low salaries being cut, there are low pensions being cut uh, even further. We're, Greece is in the fifth straight year of recession. Uh, they just couldn't take it anymore, so they voted for smaller parties who are against the austerity measures. It, it was it was an anger vote, uh, a frustration vote. What uh, now? Because the vote was so fragmented, no party, including the former two mainstream parties, has enough seats in parliament to form a government. So between now and June, we will try to form a coalition government here, but it doesn't look like it. If you cannot form a government within a month, you have to have elections again. I see. Costas, what options do the Greeks have economically? The options are uh, the options are quite limited. I mean, they could they could continue voting for you know the mainstream parties who have agreed to the austerity measures. Um, however, you know the Greek populace doesn't see any respite at the end of the tunnel. Uh, uh, they are telling them the politicians are telling them that in 2020 they're going to have a debt level uh, that they had before the crisis broke. So. Uh, you know, questions arise. Why didn't we? Do we have? Did we have to go to the IMF to go back to the debt level that we were before going there? Uh, uh, and and you know, there's widespread belief here in Greece that the austerity measures do not uh, do not work. Great. Actually, they make the situation even worse. Great, yeah. Costas. Thank you so much.